Hi there, folks. It's that time of the semester. It's time to get started with your Photographer Showcase project. This is an exciting opportunity for you to learn about photography by moving outside of our regular learning activities and connecting with a living, breathing photographer. I know from previous semesters that this activity can surface lots of excitement and energy as well as nerves in students, and I want you to know that that's totally normal. I have paced this activity for you to help you move through it in a manageable way. I am also offering you support and guidance throughout all three steps of the activity. You will need to be responsible for managing the timeline and understanding what's expected of you. But perhaps most importantly, you must ask questions along the way, particularly if you're feeling stuck or unsettled about how to move forward. Don't just sit there because the dates will pass and you will procrastinate and things won't go so well. This website on which you're reviewing this video has been put together as a resource for you. You can bookmark this website and open it at any time without needing to be logged into Blackboard. Use it as a resource and don't hesitate to ask any questions. I've got lots of different ways here that you can do that. Know that there are lots of other students in this class with you going through the same project and they too may have the same question that you have. As you get started with step one, which is searching for three photographers who you will make your initial contact with and you'll understand why three once you get started with this website, I want to encourage you to also think about your local community as a fabulous resource for finding art photographers to interview. Depending on where you live, you likely have an arts community. It may be small and it may be lively and flourishing. Each community is very different and it's really fun to figure out what your own is like if you never have. This is a great opportunity to do some research and try to connect with a local photographer that has a history of exhibitions in museums or gallery settings. You'll get the criteria for that photographer this week. Making a personal connection with a photographer is an incredibly memorable experience that will stick with you for a lifetime. But there's also some amazing learning opportunities that exist for those of you who want to reach out further and maybe connect with a photographer from another part of the country or even another side of the world. That's the benefit of technology today. So work in your comfort zone. This week you get started with step one. Go ahead and jump into the website and know that I'm here ready for your questions.